Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shahrukh and today I thought I would share with you some of my goals for Ramadan 2022. The month of Ramadan is once again upon us and if you're anything like me, you want to take this opportunity to try and supercharge your spirituality, reconnect with the religion and try and make up for all of the sins for last year. I think it's super useful to try and plan out your goals for the upcoming month to try and make the most of it. As they say, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. We don't want that. And hopefully we can all work together to have the best Ramadan possible this year. I mean. Rule number one is to read the Quran daily. This is something that I've struggled with for a little while. I've been trying to establish it for a few months now uh, and it's just so important. Hazrat Aisha once related that the Prophet wasallam said, Verily, the one who recites the Quran beautifully, smoothly and precisely he will be in the company of the noble and obedient angels. And as for the one who recites with difficulty, stammering or stumbling, then he will have twice that reward. Some of us excel in making the time to read the Quran despite having hectic schedules, but unfortunately most of us, especially in the West, tend to get swept up in our lives. We have busy schedules, we have places to be, things to do, and sometimes the Quran can get left by the wayside. I'm included in that, I'm no exception, and so to try and address this, I'm going to try and establish a daily Quran habit or a daily Quran ritual, like one hour per day, um, if possible, in Ramadan, one hour every day split into two 30 minute sessions. And I'm gonna try and keep it interesting for myself, you know, I'm gonna try and keep one 30 minute segment that's just for my reading the, the Quran to try and complete the Quran in Ramadan. And my second 30 minute, um, period of Quran reading will, will probably be focused on Tajweed or the Arabic script or you know another aspect of the Quran just so I'm not just reciting because I'd like to improve my Quranic skill in general. I'll probably make another video about how I plan on improving myself in the Quran, how I plan on eventually inshallah becoming a Hafiz of the Quran. I mean that's going to take many years of practice and study but um, I actually have a system or you know, a timetable of what I worked out in terms of trying to get there. Maybe I'll make a video on that separately. My second goal for Ramadan is to transform my body. Now, I know that, you know, Ramadan is seen as a deeply spiritual month. And absolutely it is. You're supposed to reconnect with yourself, with Allah, with the religion, try to pray more as much as you can. Having said that, you're also fasting every day for 30 days without food and drink. Why not try and use this to our physical advantage? The typical pattern that everyone is familiar with if you're a Muslim is that you wake up, you know, you have your sahari, whatever it is, cereal, um, cakes, uh, samosas, you have your fast, you break your fast in the evening and it's the same sort of thing, fatty, oily foods, samosas, pakoras, heavy salans, heavy curries. I've been doing that all my life and I feel like it just negates the physical benefits that you could achieve with the fast. When I was preparing for this year's Ramadan, you know, I thought to myself, did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, do that? Did his companions? What's the actual sunnah practice? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that when filled with food, the belly becomes the worst container for the son of Adam. It is sufficient for a human being to have a few bites to keep himself fit. If one must eat, then let him use one third for food, one third for drink, and one third for breathing. And then also in the Quran, we read that, eat and drink, but avoid excess, in Surah Taha 2081. So what's my plan? Well, my plan is to try and take advantage of the fast that we're doing anyway to try and lose some weight overall and take advantage of that calorie deficit. I plan on eating lean protein, green veggies, lots of green veggies probably, and to try and eat as little as possible to sustain myself and hopefully lose some weight in the process. Inshallah it works and I'll let you know if I get six pack abs by the end of this month. The other concern is that some people might think that I might lose a lot of muscle mass by going on such a calorie deficit, but I plan on maintaining whatever I have by going to the gym or by doing some exercise for five to 10 minutes daily. I'm planning on going on a roughly 800 to 1000 calorie intake per day. And as I say, it's gonna be mostly protein and veggies, lots of veggies to keep myself full. And we'll see how it goes. The third main goal I have for this Ramadan 2022 is to supercharge my soul. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, I've already mentioned the Quran as a way of reconnecting with Islam and trying to become closer to God. But I would like to embody the spirit of the religion in my daily um, habits and practices this month. What I mean by that is 
I'm going to try and make more of a conscious effort to be kind, to be honest, to be truthful, to try and embody all those prophetic qualities that made the prophets such phenomenal human beings, the best humans to ever exist, to not tell lies, to treat others with kindness and respect, to be able to hold my tongue in a argument or conversation and not lash out at others. And as well as that, to try and take the time to learn a few duas as well, you know, the sorts of duas that you usually hear from time to time in a Jumma prayer that you think, oh, you know, that would be good to memorize, but um, you never get around to doing it. One example of that would be the last two verses of Surah Baqarah. In Al-Bukhari, Abu Mas'ud narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if somebody recited the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah at night, that will be sufficient for him. It's something that I've always wanted to try and learn, but never got around to doing. Thank you for listening everyone. Inshallah, these goals have inspired you to make your own goals in Ramadan. My list isn't comprehensive, it's just my list. And if you have your own goals or things that you think I've missed out that would be beneficial for yourself or for me, please comment down below and let me know. May Allah bless all of you and make this the best Ramadan of our lives. That's all for today everyone. Assalamu alaikum. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and consider checking out another video like this one right here.